students are still studying, but teachers are missing out of that face-to-face -face contact with their students. Our Claire Kreitz shows us how one Little Rock school is still making those connections through their computer screens. Good afternoon, boys and girls. As school transitions from the classroom to the computer. To be shut down because of a sickness is just kind of blowing our minds and our kids' minds. Teachers like Meredith Linder find themselves trying to stay connected to their students. Call them all my babies. Through this little screen. You know, it's just not seeing their faces. It's, it's hard. That's why Linder and other educators at Episcopal Collegiate School decided to make online learning. Snippity snip. A little more interactive. Okay, join me for this part. Platypus lost. Platypus found this story goes around and around. Calling it story time at the E. Ouch! Oh no, she fell flat. These teachers crack open their favorite children's book, record themselves, and post it to their YouTube channel. I think that makes a big connection to all the kids. With each turn of the page, it's a way to bring a little piece of their school routine. They come to the library once a week. They hear stories being read aloud in their classrooms. Into their homes. It's just something that we can all identify with. And, you know, it takes us away for a little bit. Let's us find a happy place. While there's no set timeline of when students and teachers will filter back into the halls. And I promise I'll never, ever, 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 ever lose you again. The and they hope it's getting closer as each book closes and the next one is opened. Tune in tomorrow to see what I will be sharing with you. <laughs> That's so cool.